Echoing uh, what Mr. McVeigh just said over the PA, we want to thank all the officials, everybody who's made this uh, NJCA championship event possible. Definitely want to thank uh, Billy Alonzo and his crew from SPC TV for helping make the uh, webcast available to each and every one of you. And now for the final event of the day, the men's 4x400 meter relay. Lane 1, DuPage. Lane 2, Arkansas Baptist. Lane 3, South Plains College. Lane 4, Western Texas. Lane 5, Hines Community College. Iowa Western's in 6. Lane 7 is occupied by Central Arizona. And Iowa Central is out in Lane 8. I believe that's going to be Dakari McKinney leading off for the Texans. Looks like Daniel Harper is waiting in the wings for the second leg. And he is. they are going to be joined by Vernon Norwood and Braylon Taplin. And we're off and running in the final event of the NJCA championships, the 4x400 meter relay. Looks like we're off to a great start. Looks like Dakari McKinney is off well in lane four for the Texans. Lane three for the Texans. McKinney was part of the 301.32 4 by 400 meter national record just a couple weeks ago at Texas Tech University. McKinney led all, led, got the Texans off to a great start in that race. Dakari McKinney looks like he might be struggling a little bit, but he's going to hand off the baton right in the mix to Daniel Harper. And Daniel Harper currently in third as the, they enter the break. Appears to be Arkansas Baptist leading the way. And Daniel Harper box in a little bit for South Plains College. As he falls to fifth. And Harper looks like he has another gear as they come around the turn. It looks like it's going to be Daniel Harper surging to the lead for the Texans. Daniel Harper gets himself out of trouble and will hand off in the lead and to Vernon Norwood. Norwood from Louisiana. Norwood anchored the NJCA record 301.32 team and uh, had the daunting task of anchoring against Gil Roberts of Texas Tech, but did a great job maintaining the lead that his team gave him. Vernon Norwood with the lead for the Texans. As we come upon the anchor legs, it is going to be the Texans in first, Western Texas in second. Western Texas with a dangerous anchor leg in Troy Faulkner. And Central Arizona is going to be third. Braylon Taplin against Troy Faulkner for the anchor. Hines Community College looks like they are in third. But at the lead, it's gonna, it is Braylon Taplin and Troy Faulkner leading the Texans in Western Texas in the anchor leg of the men's 4 by 400 meter relay. Troy Faulkner had the third best time in the men's 400 meter dash entering the meet, did not participate, saved it for the 4x4, four four, and he is coming up on Braylon Taplin's shoulder as the two come, come around the home stretch. Braylon Taplin looks like he has a slight lead. Braylon Taplin, can he hold him off? He looks like he's going to hold off Troy Faulkner, and he does. <coughs> Braylon Taplin holds off Troy Faulkner, and the Texans successfully defend their 4x400 four four meter relay championship. Braylon Taplin with a Excellent anchor leg for South Plains College. South Plains College with the time of 305.99. Coach Blaine Wiley said he would have been happy with the 305, and that's what he gets. 306.52 looks like the time for Western Texas College. 